nasopharyngeal airways. You're going to measure from the angle of the jaw or the earlobe to the nostril or side of the nose there to figure out how long it is. So that one looks about the right size. The other thing is they come in different sizes. This is a 32 French and that has to do with the size of the, the nair. You can see there's a bevel or a cut part. This always has to go towards the septum or the middle of the nose. There's a piece of tissue, cartilage with a little bit of skin right in the middle. So the bevel always has to go towards it. So it's really designed to go in the right side. However, if it won't, we can put it in the left. So when we have the nasal, because it is going in the, the nose like that, it can be a little uncomfortable. So I'm going to take some lube, lube it up fairly well. And then it should, on the right side, pushing straight posteriorly, slide on in and rest on the back of the mouth. Now, if for some reason you meet too much resistance, it just will not go in on the right side, we can, again, bevel to the septum, go in on the left. And when we get about halfway in, we'll rotate at 180 degrees, and then it should slide the rest of the way in. These can be used on semi-conscious patients who might have a slight gag reflex when we can't use an oral pharyngeal airway.